Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Terry from terryscraftroom.com. Today we're going to use the Sentimental Swirls stamp set to make this card. It's a pretty easy card to make. So let's get started. Um, as always, if you miss some measurements, head on over to my blog. I'll have a direct link in the description box, box below. Um, and uh, to, to this, this specific blog post so you don't have to go searching around. And while you're over there, <coughs> sign up for my newsletter. I send one out every week and you'll get exclusive projects um, that won't, you, you won't see anywhere else just in my newsletter. <coughs> so go ahead and sign up for my newsletter while you're there. So we have a basic white piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Pretty simple. Okay, let's set that aside. And then I have a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock that is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then I have a piece of basic white cardstock that will be our card front that is five by three and three quarters. So let's set the Blackberry Bliss aside and we're going to do our stamping on here. Okay, um, let me get a piece of scrap paper so that I'm, because I'm going to be stamping off the sides of my, <coughs> of my card front. So we're going to use this big swirl stamp and some Blackberry Bliss ink. We're going to, the three colors of ink we're going to use today are Blackberry Bliss, Bliss, Bermuda Bay, and Fresh Freesia. So we'll start out with our Blackberry Bliss. And we're just going to give a good... I forgot to put it. So if you forget to put your stamp and pierce pad underneath, you can just slide it under just like that. Very carefully. There we go. Okay, so we have one image there. Now I want to do just three corners. So I'm going to put a swirl down here, a swirl up here, and a swirl down here, and I'm going to leave this corner empty. Okay, and then the other thing we need to do with our Blackberry Bliss is we need to stamp our bird. He's going to be sitting on our swirl. Right there. And then three butterflies. One, two, oh, and the third one will go here. Okay. And then we're going to fill in the butterflies and we're going to fill in the bird. But we'll fill them in with other colors. So the bird is going to get filled in with fresh freesia. Right there. And then I'm going to fill one of the butterflies in with the fresh freesia. And then I'm going to clean my butterfly off. And 
Then I'm going to fill the other two in with Bermuda Bay. And that's pretty much our card front. So let's put everything together. I'm going to attach the front flat onto the Blackberry Bliss, and then we'll pop the Blackberry Bliss onto the card base. Well, we don't need this anymore. And then we'll get our dimensionals. And then put our card front onto our card base. Now I'm thinking that what I might want to do is just take, let's get our our scrap paper back a little bit here. Take our swirl, and I'm going to stamp off twice, one, two, maybe a third time, and then just put a little swirly cue right down here in the bottom. And maybe another one on the other side. One, two, three. I like that. Okay, so now to finish off our card, I have a bow that I'm going to put right here. Get a, a glue dot. Now I just took my glue dot. You see this? The glue dots are this big. And I don't need it that big, so I just rolled it into a, a roll here. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my bow. And I already had this bow made so that you didn't have to sit and watch me fiddle with it. Oh, and I forgot. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stamp that. I might be able to. We'll try. If not, we'll fix it. Because my other one has hello on it and I forgot to stamp it before I put it on there and a lot of times it won't work so we'll see if it works if it doesn't we'll fix it and I'll show you how to fix it I think it's gonna work yep it worked now it may not have worked because of the dimensionals underneath but it, I knew there were dimensionals here and here, but not here, so that's why it did work. But if it didn't work, you could always stamp hello on a scrap piece of paper and then punch it out with, um, oh, some kind of um, label punch or something and then just stick it in there. But we don't need to do that. Okay, and the final thing we're going to do use on this to just finish it off a little bit are the iridescent rhinestones and they're in the same catalog the same spring catalog as the sentimental swirl stamp set and we're going to put a rhinestone there one above the hello and one down there and there's our card. Quick, simple, easy card. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye!